Final Cut Pro, we're gonna have a look at how we create this karaoke text effect, which is essentially the words change in color as we move along the pace of the sentence or the song. You'll see the color of the words following what's being said or following the lyric of the song. So essentially to do this, um, we've got a video layer um, here that we'll use, and we're gonna to come to our type tool where in our titles, we're looking for the bumper and opener um, text and the basic title option in there. So we'll drag this down to the timeline and we'll stretch this out to fill this whole timeline. And essentially what we're gonna do is style up our text first and then we'll add this uh, color change effect afterwards. So once we've lengthened our text out here, we're gonna to come to the inspector at the top right and we'll go to window, show in workspace and inspector if we don't see the inspector. And in here, under the paragraph option or the type option, we're going to paste in uh, some text that I've copied here. So once we've pasted this text in, I'm just gonna come back to my timeline and select the text there, which means I can now move it down to the bottom here. And then we'll format the type a little bit for this first step. So to format the type, we're gonna pick out one of the 2D styles. And so again, in the paragraph option comes the 2D styles and we'll choose the bold option just to make it nice and big and bold. And I'm gonna modify the text size a little bit here. I'm also going to increase the tracking just a little bit so I've got a bit more space between the letters. So once you've got your text uh, just how you want it, then we're gonna go ahead and animate the color of this text coming on. So to do this, we're gonna create a second layer um, of the same piece of text. So before I do that, I just wanna add an outline onto my type. So you can see I've got the outline option here. I'm gonna show the options here and we'll fill that with a black border, which kind of fits with the karaoke style. And then I'm gonna increase the width of that a little bit so it's a bit more visible. So now once we've done that, um, I'm gonna come down to my timeline and I'm gonna hold down the Alt or Option key on the keyboard. So you'll either see Alt or Option on the keyboard and then we can drag that layer up. So basically we've got a duplicate of that first layer. And we wanna make sure the location and the spacing is all correct before we make that duplicate. And now once we've done that, we can come across again to our type options and change the color of the face. So if we come down, we'll find the face options, which we can show, so not the outline options this time. And now we'll change this layer above to a yellow color. So we've basically got the, the color that our text is gonna end up being once we've added the animation to it. So once we've done that, we can come to the beginning of our top layer of text and we're gonna to go to the video options now. So we've got your type options, your video options, and for some text, you'll have some generator publish parameters as well, but we'll stick to the video options for this. And we're gonna crop this text all the way from the right back, and you can see now, once we get to around halfway, the cropping stops. So I need to actually hover over the number here and just keep dragging up until all my yellow text turns white. And now once I've done that, I can add a keyframe. And then with that keyframe added, um, we can play this through. And what I would try and do normally is play it through um, either in sync with the songs or try and play it through um, so that you're reading it at a decent pace. So, okay, so actually we can cut this text around about this point and I'll cut it at the same spot as this uh, clip cuts. So we'll grab the blade tool and just cut this. And that means we've got those two layers of text if we want to add a second um, animation there. And once you've used the blade tool, then make sure you jump back to the selection tool, otherwise you'll end up slicing up your clip like I accidentally just did there. And then we're gonna to come to the end of the clip and um, we have our keyframing turned on. So now we can just turn off the crop on the right hand side and we'll have our animation. So we'll come to this second section of text and we can add in um, another line. So I've copied another line of text and I'll paste that in here. And what you'll notice here is we need to paste it onto both lines there. So we'll paste it onto both lines. And now once we've done that, um, we can come back to our video animation and do the same thing. So we'll clear the cropping that was there for the last clip and then add another crop in at the beginning of this topmost layer until it disappears. So you can see here, we've set it to disappear. And 
now we can add a keyframe, play this through, and then once we've got our timing right, we can add another keyframe and remove the cropping, and we'll have our text again scrolling on. Now with some text, you'll need to manage the timing of your keyframes a little bit more accurately. So if we right click on one of our layers here and go to show video animation, you can see here we've got our keyframes for our trim or our crop. And if we drag this to the left, we can speed it up. And if we drag it to the right, this keyframe for trim or crop, um, we can slow it down. So we can make that animation much, much slower between those two keyframes as the text moves across. Um, and we can also do things like hold it at different points. So if we want to hold after spring and summer, so around about here, um, we can add another keyframe up in our inspector and we'll go forward one frame and add another keyframe. And then we can just pull these two keyframes apart and now we'll have a hold where the animation pauses and then starts again. So if you've got a song or something where there's a pause in the lyrics or the lyrics are running at a different speed, when you're making your animation, you can add more than one keyframe um, here and modify it through the video animation by right clicking on your clip. We can also right click and delete keyframes. Um, and one thing to be mindful of when you're working with keyframes is up in the inspector, if you want to modify the crop at a certain point in time, then it's a good idea to move between the keyframes by using these arrows just so you don't end up adding extra keyframes in different spots of your timeline, which can make the, the animation a little jumpy rather than this nice smooth reveal of the, the color there. So that's basically um, how to add a simple karaoke effect without any plugins um, in Final Cut Pro 10. If you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10, then please uh, drop me a message below or um, send me a tweet. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.